discussing question paper number 2 question 46 in which of the following number all the zeros are significant the numbers are significant if they are present after a proper integer so if I'm talking about this all these numbers option B will have all the zeros will be having the definite values or significant values question number 47 an organic compound which is containing carbon 59.3 and hydrogen is 6.84 so if I'll make the total of this which is not making 100 so remaining is the oxygen that will be 56.14 so we have a carbon hydrogen and oxygen so if I'll calculate the uh, mole ratios of all so this is 49.3 divided by 12 so 4.10 then 6.84 divided by 1 that is 6.84 and 56.14 divided by 16 equals to 2.74 the smallest number is 2.74 so we'll divide all the numbers by 2.74 so first I'll get the answer 1.5 this is 2.5 and this is 1 We'll multiply this by 2 so as to get the simplest ratio. This will be the empirical formula C3H5O2. In case of vapor density is given 73. So molecular weight is twice of the vapor density. Therefore this multiplied by 2 that is 146 is a molecular weight. And if we we'll calculate the empirical formula weight that is 73 so the ratio of the empirical formula and the molecular formula is nothing but 2 so I'll multiply this empirical formula by 2 I'll get C6 H10 O4 that's the molecular formula option C question number 48 the number of orbitals present in the shell n is equals to 4 so in fourth shell we have four subshell s p d and f s has one orbital p has three d has five and seven so if i'll make the total of this that is 16 hence our option is c b an orbital in which n is equals to four and l is equal to two is represented by n is equals to four so if n is equals to four the shell number is four and L is equals to given 2 L value is 0 for S orbital 1 for P orbital 2 for D orbital and 3 for F orbital since the given value is 2 therefore it should be 4 D orbital that is option number C question number 50 fluorine has the lowest electron affinity than the electron that is because if you look at the size of fluorine that size of fluorine is the smaller so smaller radius of fluorine and in that smaller radius of fluorine the electron density is very high because of that the electron affinity of the fluorine is lower compared to that of chlorine hence our option is option b question number 51 the bond length of HCl is given to us that is 1.275 Armstrong so distance between the hydrogen and chlorine is given 1.275 Armstrong dipole moment which is observed dipole moment observed dipole moment which is given to us that is equals to 1.03 then if I'm talking about the ionic character of the molecule then uh, that is charge on the electron which is 4.8 into 10 raise to minus 10 ESU so if I have to calculate the theoretical value of the dipole moment that will be equals to E into D so this is 4.8 into 10 raise to minus 10 into 1.275 this have, we have to convert into centimeter so this is 10 to minus 8 so this comes out to be 6.12 into 10 to minus 18 ESU that is equals to 1.12 D so uh, the uh, ratio of this percentage ratio we have to calculate so observed upon theoretical that is multiplied by 100 so observed is 1.03 dipole moment divided by 6.12 into 100 
so answer comes out to be 16.83 hence our option is option D the question number 52 sp3 d hybrid orbit uh, that is hybridization is given that results in sp3 d is five orbitals so in that case three orbitals are arranged in one plane and one is above the plane and one is below the plane so geometry has to be trigonal bipyramidal geometry hence our option is option c question number 53 four gases are given carbon monoxide methane then hcl and so2 and their critical temperatures are given critical temperatures are the maximum temperature uh, at which the gas can be found uh, in the liquid temperature that is it it has to be decreased till that temperature so that gas can be converted into liquid above this temperature the gas will be definitely in the gaseous state below this it will be in the liquid state if you look at these values higher is the critical temperature easy is the liquefaction of that gas so highest value is with the so2 which can be liquefied very easily therefore our option is option a question number 54 two moles of ideal gas is expanded isothermally and reversibly from 1 liter to 10 liter at 300 kelvin we are supposed to find the enthalpy of enthalpy change of this reaction so we have a formula delta h is equals to delta e plus delta uh, that is nr delta t this is isothermal process for which delta t will be equals to zero and even delta e will be zero therefore delta h will be equals to zero kilojoule that is option d question number 55 the schematic plot of the ln that is log to the base e k of equilibrium versus temperature is given over there we are supposed to find the reaction is of which type so if we talk about ln k equilibrium now i'm making it log to the base 10 that is equals to delta h0 upon 2.303 rt plus delta s0 upon r so in this equation if i'll see the plot of log k equilibrium versus 1 upon t is given in this plot also we can see the slope is positive so if the slope is positive then definitely the delta h has to be negative so if the delta h of this particular equation is negative then definitely the reaction is exothermic in nature therefore our option is option d question number 56 in qualitative analysis in order to detect the second group basic radical h2s gas is passed in presence of the dilute hcl this is generally done so that it can decrease the dissociation of h2s and uh, we can get the corresponding sulfide precipitate of the group 2 therefore our option is option c question number 57 the oxidation states of the compounds are given x y and z x is plus 2 y is plus 5 and this is minus 2 so in short the total of this and this that is plus minus should give the answer 0 overall answer 0 so if you look at the different option first is x2 y z6 x2 that will make plus 4 and this will make plus 5 the total of this plus 9 but z6 is minus 12 so this is not making 0 then option b if you look at this so x y2 z6 x plus 2 y is plus 5 twice of it so that is plus 10 which makes plus 12 and 6 of z will make it minus 12 this is satisfying the equation therefore our option is option b Question number 58, oxidation state of sulfur in Na2S2O3 and in Na2S4O6. So let us assume the sulfur is X. Sodium is alkali metal, so plus 1. So twice of sodium is plus 2, plus 2X. Two Oxygen is minus 2, thrice of that minus 6 is equal to 0. So 2X minus 4 is equal to 0. So X is equal to plus 2. 
and uh, like that we have option only C no need to even calculate any to S2 S406 so option is C 59 in which of the following reaction H2O2 behaves like reducing agent so if the H2O2 in which the oxygen is present in minus one oxidation state will act like a reducing agent itself will undergo the oxidation and due to oxidation its oxidation sh state should increase so it should increase to more than minus one it should go to zero therefore if you look at all the reactions which are given over there uh, if in which the option number that is option B has the H2O2 getting converted into O2 and O2 is having the elemental st uh, state that is oxidation state will be zero therefore here the oxidation state has increased therefore option is B where the H2O2 is acting like a reducing agent question number 60 in which is not true with respect to the beryllium chemistry beryllium is amphoteric in nature definitely because it shows the diagonal relationship with the aluminium it forms the unusual carbide beryllium carbide it's also correct beryllium hydroxide is basic in nature which is the uh, incorrect statement because it shows the amphoteric nature therefore option is c 61 which is not true sorry which is true for the element which presents in three group group three group is nothing but is your group 13 and in group 13 it has the oxidation state plus four they show plus three oxidation state so it's, it's incorrect the gas they are gas at room temperature all our metals there are solids at room temperature it forms the r2o3 yes they forms the l2o3 type of compounds therefore option is c next question number 62 the correct order of the atomic radii in case of the group 13 elements only given if you go down the group boron is the smaller aluminium will be having the more size but aluminium is greater compared to gallium because gallium has now in electronic configuration d electrons in the inner shells this d electrons gives the stronger screening effect stronger is the uh, sorry poor screening effect of the d electron poor is a screening effect stronger is a nuclear charge and the size of the atom decreases therefore our option is option d question number 63 which of the following compound is the most acidic in nature if you look at the first compound it is alcoholic in nature which is neutral in nature and the rest of the three molecules are given us uh, that of, of phenol in case of phenol electron withdrawing group present at ortho or para position increases the acidic nature of the compound so if you look at the option b which is having electron withdrawing group that is nitro at the ortho position therefore this compound will be having more acidic nature than the phenol the, hence our option is option b question number 64 on mixing certain alkane with the chlorine and irradiating it with the UV light it forms one monochloroalkane and one monochloroalkane is formed by if you look at the option A the neo carbons are generally pentane are arranged like this if you carry out the chlorination of this any of this methyl group will substitute its hydrogen with the chlorine and any of them be substituted they are going to give a similar product therefore our option is option A since only one type of product is obtained on chlorination of this compound question number 65 which of the following compound is not aromatic if you look at the first compound it is having one pi bond so pi electrons are two pi electrons therefore if you look at the Huckel rule 4n plus 2 pi electron if the n is equals to 0 this answer is 2 pi electron so this follows the rule therefore this is aromatic in nature next compound option number B we have here uh, 4 electrons 4 electrons from uh, 4 pi electron plus lone pair of electrons are present so there are total 6 electrons in this case so 4n plus 2 pi electrons if you will satisfy this rule n is equals to uh, n is equals to 1 or in n is equals to 
uh, 1 will give you the answer that is 6 pi electron. So this satisfies the rule. This is also aromatic in nature. If you look at the option number C, which is a cation which contains only 4 pi electrons. So over here 4 pi electrons, none of the number of n will satisfy and give us the answer 4. Therefore, this is not following the Huckel rule. This is not aromatic in nature. Therefore, option C is the answer. Question number 66. The photochemical smog is caused by carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, ozone or NO2. The NO2 is the most prominent factor which is responsible for the photochemical smog. Hence, our option is D. Question number 67. A solid compound contains XYZ atoms where X occupies the corner. So, there are 8 corners, 1 8 portion of this, so 1. Y is present in the body center, so 1 into 1 that is equals to 1. Z is equals to faces. There are 6 faces, half fraction of each, so 3. The formula is, has to be X, Y, Z, 3. Therefore, our option is option B. For the crystal system, question number 68. They have given A is equals to B is equals to C, but alpha is equals to beta is equals to gamma, but not equals to 90 degree. This is the description of rhombohedral structure. Hence, our option is C. Question number 69. What happens when egg is kept in the saturated solution of NaCl after removing its hard shell in dilute HCl? Since the hard shell is removed, now this egg when it, when it is kept in the NaCl solution, the NaCl solution is saturated. So higher concentration is there outside and uh, lower concentration inside the egg. So this is the osmosis process which will take place and because of that egg is going to shrink hence our option is option B. Question number 70 on mixing heptane and octane to form the ideal solution at 373 Kelvin. Vapor pressures of respective components are given. We are supposed to find out the total pressure of this particular mixture. So in this case, first of all, regarding the hexane, we'll find the mole fraction. Mole fraction is the number of moles of this divided by the total number of <coughs> total number of the uh, no moles which are present. So if I look at the hexane, it has 25 grams of the heptane. So this is number of moles 25 of that molecular weight of which which is given to be 100 divided by 25 upon 100 plus that of octane gram is given is 35 divided by its molecular weight is 114. So if you we'll calculate this, this is 0 0.45 but hexane mole fraction plus octane mole fraction that is equals to 1. So octane mole fraction is nothing but equals to 0 0.55. The total pressure is nothing but the mole fraction of hexane multiplied by its pressure plus mole fraction of octane multiplied by its pressure. Mole fraction of hexane we calculated at 0 0.45 multiplied by its pressure which is given 105 plus mole fraction of octane 0 0.55 multiplied by its pressure given 45. So calculation of this gives the answer 72 therefore our option is option A. Question number 71, the standard reduction potential for the half cell reaction having the equation, they have given the reaction and for that the standard reaction potential 0 0.78 is given. In this equation, if you will see one electron is involved. So using Nutt's equation, if I will calculate E reduction potential, its standard potential is 0 0.78 minus plus 0.0591 number of electrons over here involved are 1 for the neutral solution that means the concentration of this solution has to be 10 raised to minus 7 so that is equals to 0.78 this I'm minus sign I'm taking here so minus 0.0591 and log of 10 raised to 7 is nothing but 7 so if you calculate this this comes out to be 0.367 Therefore, our option is option C. Question number 72. Which of, the which of this does not influence the rate of reaction? In which the nature of reactants, it does not affect. 
concentration of reactants temperature of the reaction and molecularity of the reaction molecularity how many particles which uh, take part in the reaction definitely does not influence but the rest of the factors the nature of reactant concentration temperature as they will change the rate of reaction is definitely going to change hence our option is option d question number 73 yeah consider 2a plus b that is giving us the product so if you look at this particular rate that is equals to k into a square into b when the a b is change or it is doubled the half life does not change that is indicating the reaction is first order with respect to b also they are saying the concentration of a alone was doubled the rate of reaction also increases two times so that also increases the reaction is again first order with respect to a so overall rate of reaction is nothing but 2 so if i have to calculate the unit of this this is nothing but concentration 1 raised to minus and time raised to minus 1 so here order is 2 so concentration raised to minus 1 and time raised to minus 1 so that thing it is nothing but liter mole inverse second inverse hence our option is option a question number 74 the associated colloid amongst them associated colloid is nothing but the uh, sodium stearate option d is the answer for this question 75 flux is used to remove acidic impurities basic impurities all the impurities from the ores or from the ores so this is option c all the impurities can be removed from this particular uh, ore that is that's why the flux is added 76 which one of the following is the correct all minerals are ore that is not necessary all minerals are ore all ores cannot be minerals then option c a mineral cannot be ore mineral is the ore and option d all ores are mineral so if i'm talking about the the correct statement for this is option d all ores are minerals but all minerals cannot be ores hence option d is the correct statement question number 77 the last orbit of the argon argon is a noble gas so definitely it should contain the eight electrons in its also outermost shell therefore uh, this eight electrons but the argon if you look at this particular uh, eight electrons in the outermost shell so option is c question number 78 the atomic number of the vanadium chromium and manganese ion are given 23 24 25 26 and which of these have expected to have the highest second ionization energy if you look at the vanadium the electronic configuration is argon 3d3 4s2 then in case of the next element that is chromium it's argon 3d5 4s1 in case of manganese it's argon 3d5 4s2 and fe is argon 3d6 4s2 so if you look at this the chromium after losing one electron from here has the half filled d orbital so it's very difficult to remove the second electron from this so it will be having the highest second ionization enthalpy hence our option is option b question number 79 knowing that the chemistry of the lanthanoids it's dominated by the plus 3 oxidation state which of the following statement is incorrect so option number a because of the large size of the lanthanide ions the bonding in its compound is predominantly ionic in character so yes definitely the bonding is ionic character point number b ionic size of lanthanide decreases in general with the increasing atomic numbers that is called as lanthanide contraction so option b is also correct lanthanide three compounds are generally colorless this is absolutely wrong because lanthanides are mostly colored compounds because if they are having plus 3 oxidation state uh, they have unpaired electrons and these unpaired electrons 
are going to give us the FF transition because of that impart color to the complexes. Hence, our option C is incorrect in this. Question number 80, the oxidation number of Fe in K4 FeCN6. So, K4 FeCN6. Potassium is alkali metal. So, each is having plus 1. So, plus 4 for the entire potassium. Let us assume it as X. Cyanide is a minus 1. So, 6 cyanide is minus 6 is equal to 0. So, X minus 2 is equal to 0. X is equal to plus 2. So, the plus 2 is oxidation state of the Fe. Hence, option is C. Question number 81. Which one of the following isomer of the cyclohexane hexachloride? It's strong pesticide. So, this is gamma isomer of which, therefore, option is C. 82. The Lucas reagent is. Lucas reagent is anhydrous ZnCl2 presence with the concentrated HCl. The option is option C. 83. Tertiary alcohol having at least 4 carbon atoms. So, if I am talking about tertiary alcohol which is having 4 carbon atoms, that can be tertiary butyl alcohol. If I will oxidize this, first of all, first oxidation will give the loss of 1 carbon to give corresponding ketone compound. So, we will get the acetone in this and further oxidation will give me formation of acetic acid. So, there are total 2 carbons are lost in this reaction. So, loss of 2 carbon atom in this therefore option is B. Question number 84. The reaction of 1 mole of each para hydroxy acetophenone. So, para hydroxy this is OH over here. It is acetophenone. So, acetophenone is C double bond O CH3. Its reaction with the methyl magnesium iodide. So, if you will allow this to react with methyl magnesium uh, iodide. So, this will undergo the reaction where this will be replaced and we are going to get the magnesium iodide salt correspondingly. So, here we have option number A for it. The methane is lost along with the magnesium iodide salt formation. Question number 85. Which of the following cannot be used for following conversion? So, CH3CN cyanide conversion to corresponding amine we require strong reducing agent. First is platinum hydrogenation that can be used lithium aluminum hydride and even sodium in ethanol can be used well the teen chloride and hcl carries out the partial reduction it will not give us a complete reduction to the primary amine hence our option d 86 the compound on hydrogenation uh, hydroxyl amine uh, hydroxyl amine gives the compound b which on reduction gives c which is further on reaction with hos NOCl gives us the formation of the alkyl halide. So, definitely if I am talking about this particular alkyl halide which is obtained by reaction with NOCl, though definitely this is something has to be amine. So, we are supposed to get the NH2 ethylamine. This ethylamine is obtained by the reduction of certain compound which is obtained by the reaction with hydroxylamine. So, this has to be oxime. So, CH3, CH2 double bond. NOH and this is obtained by the uh, compound that has to be definitely aldehyde. So, the compound has to be CH3 CHO. Therefore, the compounds A and C, A is our aldehyde, this is acetaldehyde and compound C which is nothing but amine that is ethylamine. Therefore, our option is option D. Question number 87, the enzyme pepsin hydrolyzes. Pepsin is kind of like uh, the uh, ami pep uh, amino acid linkage it has definitely. Therefore, the proteins to amino acid hydrolysis we get it. Therefore, option is A. Question number 88, which of the following is used in vulcanization of rubber? In vulcanization of rubber, we use generally sulfur. So, sulfur related compound is option A, SF6. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर एटी नाइन डेक्रॉन इज अ पॉलीमर ऑफ डेक्रॉन इज अ पॉलीमर ऑफ डेफिनेटली द ग्लाइकॉल एंड इट इट इज यूज इन द अलॉन्ग विद टेरेपथेलिक एसिड बिकॉज दिस इज अ टेरिलीन डेक्रॉन इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड टेरिलीन सो इट इज टेरिलीन फाइबर सो इट्स अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ ग्लाइकॉल एंड टेरेपथेलिक एसिड हैंस आर ऑप्शन इज ऑप्शन डी एंड क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइनटी हिप्योरिक एसिड द स्ट्रक्चर और द फॉर्मूला इट इज आस हिप्योरिक एसिड इज सी सिक्स एच फाइव C double bond O, NH, CH two COH. Hence, our option is option B.